Welcome back to Paradise, Louisiana. And uh, Carl Byer joins us today, and uh, we, we kind of have a nickname for him among our circle. He is the world's most interesting man, <laughs> number two. Kind of resembles him a little bit, too, if you look at him. But aside from being an accomplished hunter and fisherman, uh, Carl, you kind of got into doing some wildlife artistry. And I yeah. tell you what, it's really some, some really interesting things. How did you get started into this? Well, actually, I've, I've been painting and, and doing artwork uh, way back from uh, before high school, probably in the middle school, that kind of thing. And uh, my grandfather, who was born in Germany, he was uh, an artist, but he uh, passed away at an early age. And my dad did a lot of artwork and also uh, woodworking and all stuff like that. So it's, it's a talent that runs in the family. But um, actually, the, the, the part about doing the whole waterfowl thing really kind of started several years. I've done some paintings over the years or whatever, but it started several years ago, uh, waterfowling and, and upland and that kind of stuff. Uh, my interest in there just really boiled over once I got to get out of the real business in the real world and, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, enjoy the outdoors a lot more. But uh, I was sitting out at camp uh, after teal season, hotter than heck, and... My hips were bad and hurting, so I was just laying there, and I started doing a bunch of little sketches like this, and uh, kind of filled up the uh, hunting camp with these type of sketches and all that, and did some paintings for there, and and I've always done paintings and stuff for friends, and uh, it's just kind of uh, been really, really enjoyable. And uh, I'm not great with a camera, so my mind captures those special moments, those special pictures, uh, such as this, you know, those pintails that came around the back corner that we never, never, you know, actually saw. They flew right past, and everybody sat there, and we go, I guess we were supposed to shoot. So, you know, <laughs> trying to capture those moments, and, you know, like on, on this painting here, that's one of those ones I did for a good friend of mine, Joe Daly. He's, uh, he's in his uh, 80s now, and uh, he was looking to have something. Just uh, he loves the uh, speck of belly goose hunting, and he was just actually, you know, wanting to have something with geese in there. And I thought, man, what a great way to put, like, those decoys that sneak in early in the morning. Or, you know, the, I mean, the birds that sneak in over the decoys early in the morning. Uh, you know, so it's just capturing those moments and, uh, and and sharing it with people. And everybody seems to enjoy them, so I think this is a good way to be able to share and, and give back, too. Uh, and you kind of expanded it. Tell us about some of the other prints that you've done. I've, I've done stuff for, you know, fishing and uh, uh, that type of stuff. But also we just had a, a Woodcock Society um, benefit, and I did uh, three, three prints, uh, pen and ink prints uh, there that we did for donation, and uh, they revolved around all the things we see woodcock hunting you can't capture on a camera. Getting stuck in the, the weeds with your gun when the bird's flushing, you know, the, the dog, uh, birds flushing in front of the dog, or, or just those aspects, and uh, I think it's pretty neat, and, um, you, you know, uh, do the pen and ink, the, uh, the oils, these are reproductions now uh, that, that hopefully that'll, that'll go good. Um, you know, compliment people's offices or or uh, homes where they could they can enjoy. Could you actually do some custom work if somebody's yes, got uh, a particular yeah. spot or scene that they uh, would love to have uh, immortalized? Could you take yeah, the abs yeah. absolutely, absolutely? You know, several photographs, an idea of what the uh, you know what the event is or, or what revolved around it, whether it be the the setting in the morning, the sun, or the, the particular people you're with, that type of thing. Definitely, definitely could uh, uh, work with that. Drew, what do you think? Got a good coloring book to do that? He must have some nice colors, huh? <laughs> he likes it. And if you'd like to get one, uh, check it out. They're on my webpage, dontheoutdoorsguide.com. All the information there, simply go to the Outdoors Mall. And if you'd like to get in touch with Carl about maybe doing a customized print, uh, you can certainly send me uh, information on my contact button on the webpage. That's dontheoutdoorsguide.com. Some very, uh, re really one great way to immortalize those yeah. very special moments without bringing the camera. Yeah, and it's, you know, that's that's kind of a good thing because it's in your mind's eye. And, you know, the camera just captures so much, but when you can kind of inflect those feelings of the hunt, too, I think is, is what actually makes it special. And, in fact, Don, for helping me out with all this... Uh, I'm presenting this to you. Oh, so, great. Or maybe maybe that? I should present it to, uh, <laughs> to Drew here. Drew's going to go after those speckle belly geese. That's one it. Day, You're right? going to be hunting those one day, aren't you, Drew? All right. Very good. All right. Thank, Thank you so, so much. much, Carl. We'll be right back. You're watching Paradise. We see.